This is an emergency meeting of Crimean Tatars from the town of Bakhchisarai. Anxiety, foreboding, heavy in the air. 90 minutes earlier, a house of one of their own was broken into. Ethnic hate or simple theft, they don't know. They must step up security with round-the-clock patrols. The thing that happened today, thank God, had no victims, the head of the local Methodist council tells the crowd. We cannot even let the smallest threat into the place where the Tatars live. Suffering is etched onto these people's history. Only the young don't remember exile. Lives lived in Kazakhstan or Uzbekistan or other Soviet republics after Stalin deported the Tatars from their homeland for supposedly collaborating with Hitler. Some remember deportation, which has its own word, Surgun, the Tatar equivalent of the Holocaust. But since the end of the Soviet Union, many have returned to Crimea, living peacefully alongside a jumble of other ethnicities, other religions. Now men who've lived through it all are being asked to choose between Russia and Ukraine. It is not legal. We are the original nation of Crimea. Our Khan state was here. Russia left us with no rights. We don't want to be with Russia. We want to be with Ukraine. He thinks there will be war. Russia will not retreat, he says. We visit the house where the attack happened, a brazen intrusion in broad daylight, trashing the family home. It's a first for this tight-knit community and on a day when their political future is thrown into chaos. Even if this was just a burglary, the reaction amongst the community shows you just how tense these times are, that they'll patrol these streets 24-7, taking security into their own hands, having lost faith in the apparatus of the state. As darkness falls over the mosque, there are prayers and consultations, looking for answers from one another before the nighttime patrols begin. Diana Magne, CNN, Bakhchisarai, Ukraine.